This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Emma. And I'm Brianna with your morning announcements for Wednesday, October 19th. Let's start off the show with a message from Ms. Craig. Good morning, Cathedral. Um, I'm here to first off congratulate everyone who participated in the pilgrimage walk and to share a special message from Haiti with all of you. So we have some pictures Mr. Trabuco will put on the screen. So first off, congratulations. Thank you for participating in the walk. And now on to the next part of the task of participating in pilgrimage, which is bringing in your pledges. So we have some photos of what your pledge money did last year. So before we received pledges, this is what the kitchen in Zoranger looked like. And then after pledges, they were able to construct a cement kitchen building. We also have some other before pictures of what um, the kitchen looked like before and after. And before the building was built, this is the location where students in Zoranger would show well, shower or wash to get ready for school. And with your pledges, we were able to build a shower facility so they could shower in privacy and get ready for school. And now we've received a message from Haiti about some of the next things that they would need. Um, so we got a message from Father Philippe last night, and these are some of the goals they would like to do if you bring in your pledges. So a reminder, pledges are due on Friday. Bring in as much as you can by then so that we can pass those on. So the first goal they have for their community is to transition their kitchen to using propane, which is way less harmful for the environment, and also some reforestation, adding some trees to their community so they can withstand effects of hurricanes and floods. Another goal they have is to get the pre-K, so for their smallest students, a playground set up, so a safe area where they can play. Another goal is some sustainable housing for the teachers in their community so they can recruit more teachers. And their final goal is to build a secondary school. Right now the schools in Zoranger only go up to grade six. So with your support and your pledges, we can pass on the news that they can start planning for some of those goals. Thank you, Cathedral. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Miss. A representative from Niagara, Niagara College will be here tomorrow at 1.15 p.m. in the chapel. Grade 12 and 12 plus students who are interested in attending this presentation are asked to please sign up outside of Mr. Nordoff's office. On Thursday, students must attend their period five class and wait to be called down. Please sign up for this presentation by the end of the day. Attention all Halloween for Hunger Executive Committee members. There will be a very important meeting immediately after school tomorrow in the chapel. All members must attend to help prepare the leaflet packages. Please see Mrs. O'Keefe or Mrs. Nicole if you cannot attend. If you have already signed up or would like to sign up to participate in this year's Halloween for Hunger, you need to attend a brief but very important meeting on Monday, October 24th after school in the chapel. This meeting you will receive a map of the route you will be completing and flyers to leaflet the neighborhoods you will be collecting from on Halloween night. At least two members from each group must attend this meeting to receive your group's package. Thank you for Mrs. O'Keefe and Mrs. Nicole. The French Club meeting will take place tomorrow at 2.40 in the library. The yearbook committee will be meeting tomorrow after school in room 314. The Gale Pride meeting for today is cancelled. Thanks from the advisors. And after school today, everyone can participate in yoga, taking place in the wellness studio at 245. Please come in comfortable clothing. Thanks from Ms. McHugh. Attention all students attending this evening's Achievement Awards ceremony. Please arrive between 6.15 and 6.30 and report to the cafeteria. And all co-op students must make sure that they hand in their logs and employer evaluations to their co-op teachers as soon as possible. Thank you from the co-op department. The annual Take Our Kids to Work Day will take place on Wednesday, November 2nd. Spend the day with a parent, relative, neighbor, or family friend learning about the skills required in the world of work. All grade 9 students are required to fill in and return the consent forms to your period 1 teacher prior to the November 1st deadline. Thanks for Mr. Felice. Today you can purchase your ticket for the Halloween dance, Fresh, fresh to Death. Tickets are $7 or only $6 if you bring in a food donation for the Annex. Tickets will be sold during lunches from the Student Council office. The dance take, takes place next Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. in the CAF. There will be best costume prizes for best male, best female, best couple, and best group of three or more. Tickets are only on sale until next Tuesday, and this dance always sells out. Do not be disappointed and purchase your ticket ASAP. Moving into sports, there is a junior boys basketball tryout tomorrow from 6.30 to 8.30 in the gym. Attention junior boys volleyball team, your practice today is cancelled. The next practice will be Monday after school. Thanks from Coach Cartina. 
And lastly, congratulations goes out to the Athletes of the Week. From the senior boys football team, Jacob Durka. And from the junior boys football team, Zach Powell. Congratulations, Gales. And to end off our show, I'll pass it over to Mr. Pustai. Happy Purple Day, Cathedral. Today, Cathedral wears purple as a sign of our solidarity against child abuse. So I'd like to thank all those staff and students today who are wearing purple and, again, are in solidarity against a very, very awful thing that is still prevalent in our society today. We're bringing awareness to all. This morning, I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow, Thursday, October 20th, as students in grade 10 will be writing the first ever online Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. Now, normally, it's a pen to paper test, and it is written in March and April, and that will take place again this year. But the Government of Ontario has decided, as since, we're, since we're moving into a technolo technological age, that we will try to uh, see if we could write the OSSLT online. And so tomorrow, students in grade 10 classes have been assigned to various computer rooms. I'm going to ask all those students who are writing tomorrow to make sure that you know where you are writing. Your name and your OSSLT online location is listed in the hallway in front of student success and also in front of the main office. Please make sure that you check those lists. We'd like to remind students, please be on time. The test, again, will begin at 8.30, but this year, in this particular occasion, the entire school is affected because the timetable needs to change in order to accommodate the various sessions and break times. So thank you, Mr. Tribuco, for putting that up. So tomorrow, you'll see this um, timetable up again. Everyone will be in their classes at 8.30. Students who are in grade 10 classes and are not writing the test are asked to meet in the cafeteria where you will spend periods one and two, especially during the time when students are writing the test. So now period one is especially long. It begins at 8.30 and it goes till 10 a.m. At 10 o'clock, students who are writing as well as the entire school will be given a 15 minute break so from 10 to 10.15, the entire school will have a 15-minute break. At period two, which begins at 10.15, everyone returns to their normal place. So students writing the literacy test will begin session two. And those students who have a normal period two class in all other grades will, again, move to their class at 10.15. Period two lasts from 10.15 to 11.35, another long period. And then for the rest of the day, our periods three, four, and five are shortened. And as you can see from the timetable, they're about 55 minutes in length with a 2.30 dismissal. So students, we are all affected by this test tomorrow in the sense that our timetable will be a special one, one that we've never really had in the past. So it's really important that you follow instructions. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Teachers who are proctoring the OSSLT, you receive special instructions in addition to the guide in your mailboxes. So please make sure that you review those, especially for tomorrow morning. And again, we ask those students who are writing the test to make sure that when you arrive, you're in full uniform, that you're in your proper location. And please make sure that by the end of today, you will have checked to see if your login works. And if not, you need to see Mr. Paterakia, who could be found either in room 308 or in the CSE office on the top floor of our school. So make sure you know that before the end of the day. Uh, we want to remind students that uh, each session is about 75 minutes in length. If you finish early, there is no talking. You do not bring your backpacks or anything to the area, so you're to remain quiet. However, it's always a great suggestion, if you ever finish any test early, that you review your answers and that if you need to, you revise them so that your answers will be more complete and will give you an added advantage to be successful on the OSSLT. Students who are successful on this test will not have to write the March evaluation. So please make sure that you do your best tomorrow. This way, you avoid March's pen-to-paper test. 
And finally, we'd like to uh, remind all students to get a good night's sleep, make sure you're well rested, that you have a good breakfast in the morning, because tomorrow is going to be a very, very special day, not only for the grade 10s, but for everyone here at Cathedral High School. And just uh, one plug for the uh, Awards of Excellence Night. Tonight we honor uh, the best of the best, la creme de la creme of Cathedral High School, who have achieved great successes in a number of areas, and that will be in our very own forum this evening, Cathedral Night of Excellence. It'll be a great celebration. Have a great Cathedral Day, everyone, and now back to the desk. Thanks, sir. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching. Thank you.